It's about time. Hi, I'm Robert. I'm Tess. I'm Amanda. Thank you. Good morning. Today's date is Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Sorry, everyone. It's been a long time since I made a little video. So this is kind of more of an update. It's been such a crazy, crazy week. The weather has been crazy. So crazy that it was raining and cold and hot and all this change. And unfortunately made Amanda Tess and I a little ill. So we were under the weather a few days. I missed the work a few days. And didn't do much of anything except for relax and just get better. But now that I'm 95% better, Amanda's 75% better, and Tess is 95% better. Let's back off to work and school. It's gonna be a very interesting week that we have a couple things planned. It's my two nephews' birthdays this weekend, so that's really nice. We're gonna be going to a place called Pleasant Prairie. They're gonna to go to a, we're going to go to a place called Pleasant, Pleasant Prairie, sorry if I can get my tongue, tongue tied, which is uh, an outlet mall, Pleasant Prairie Outlet Mall. I haven't been there for, uh, I guess, a year or two years. That's a collection of small shops that big factories and companies have a little outlet mall where they sell their products. Sometimes the products are second runs so and there's a problem with it, or that there's a small blemish with an item, or that they just have some extras, or the color doesn't meet their, their exact standard, and they'll sell them at a much discount. But they're all authentic, they're all legit. So, it is an interesting place. We plan on going, in, going there well, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Saturday, I need to get something for myself for our trip. For that, so we have Mother's Day coming around as well. Not sure, exactly sure what our plans are, but I can tell you it's going to be a very busy weekend, and we're looking forward to that. Also, because of the illness and all that's going on, last week I missed a very important uh, event as far as the, our timeline. I lost time. Last week was a 40-40 day. 40 days to the end of school, or f and another 40 days after that, we head to the Philippines. So 40-40, that was, I lost track of the time on that one. And that was last week, I, I did the count. So that's kind of with that. The weather's cold today, but it's starting to get pretty the sun's coming out and really overcast but I'm thankful that it's trying to get back to the warmer weather the sunnier <laughs> weather oh poor panda I gotta give you some more cough medicine should shouldn't do that didn't do that this morning gotta give you some more when we get there I know we're gonna give you some more so uh let's see here well that's I guess pretty much about it's the minute please Amanda that that's pretty much about it. Just to let you know, we're thinking about you. Oh, yes. I was watching one of my favorite vloggers, George and Lucy over at uh, Juicy, Juicy Vlog. And also I was watching Mike and Nelly over at Making It Happen. And they're just celebrating their 100,000 100, subscriber. And he did a video when he got his 100 subscriber, his 1,000 subscriber, his 10,000 subscriber, and his 100,000 subscriber. I didn't do a reaction or a any sort of video for my 100 subscribers. So I'm going to do a little video, even though I'm at my 107th subscriber. I think it's not too late to still log that in there uh, as far as the timeline is not too far of that, so I'll probably do something on that a little bit later. In addition, I do want to do another book reading sometime between now and next week as well. Not quite sure, but I'm going to choose another favorite book, and then I have some another 
video I need to do. Oh, look at this. I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> okay, sprinkling, sprinkling. Good morning. Today's date is Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Sorry everyone, it's been a long time since I made a little video. So this is kind of more of an update. It's been such a crazy, crazy week. The weather has been crazy. So crazy that it's raining and cold and not hot and all this change. Unfortunately made Amanda Tessa and I a little ill. So we were under the weather a few days, missed work a few days, and didn't do much of anything except for relax and just get better. But now that I'm 95% better, Amanda's 75% better, and Tessa's 95% better. Let's back off to work and school. It's gonna be a very interesting week that we have a couple things planned. It's my two nephews' birthdays this weekend, so that's really nice. We're gonna be going to a place called Pleasant Prairie. They're gonna to go to a to a, we're going to go to a place called Pleasant, Pleasant Prairie, sorry if I can get my tongue to tie, which is uh, the outlet mall. Pleasant Prairie Outlet Mall. I haven't been there for, uh, I guess, a year or two years. That's a collection of small shops that big factories and companies have a little outlet mall where they sell their products. Sometimes the products are second run, so there's a problem with it, or that there's a small blemish with an item, or that they just have some extras, or the color doesn't meet their, their exact standards, and they'll sell them at a much discount. But they're all authentic, they're all legit. So, it is an interesting place. We plan on going, in, going there, I don't know, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Saturday, I need to get something for myself for our trip. Looking forward to that. So we have Mother's Day coming around as well. Not sure, exactly sure what our plans are, but I can tell you it's going to be a very busy weekend. And we're looking forward to that. Also, because of the illness and all that's going on, last week I missed a very important uh, event as far as the, our timeline. I lost time. Last week was a 40-40 day. 40 days to the end of school or f and another 40 days after that till we head to the Philippines. So 40-40. That was I lost track of the time on that one. That was last week. I did the count. So that's kind of with that. The weather's cold today, but it's starting to get Pretty. The sun's coming out, and really overcast, but I'm thankful that it's trying to get back to the warmer weather, the sunnier weather. Oh, poor panda. I gotta give you some more cough medicine. Should, shouldn't do that, didn't do that this morning. Gonna give you some more, what do you think? I know, we're gonna give you some more. So, uh, let's see here. Well, that's, I guess, pretty much about it. Just a minute, please, Amanda. That, that's pretty much about it. Just to let you know, we're thinking about you. Oh, yes. I was watching one of my favorite vloggers, George and Lucy over at uh, Juicy, Juicy Vlog. And also I was watching Mike and Nelly over at Making It Happen. And they're just celebrating their 100,000. 100,000 subscriber, and he did a video when he got his 100 subscriber, his 1,000 subscriber, his 10,000 subscriber, and his 100,000 subscriber. I didn't do a reaction or a any sort of video for my 100 subscribers, so I'm gonna do a little video, even though I'm at my 107 subscriber. I think it's not too late to still log that in there. Uh, as far as the timeline, it's not too far of that. So I'll probably do something on that a little bit later. In addition, I do want to do another book reading sometime between now and next week as well. Not quite sure, but I'm going to choose another favorite book. And then I have some another 
video I need to do. Oh, look at this. I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's raining. Okay, sprinkling, sprinkling. Hello, I need to do a little attachment here. Something happened that every once in a while my camera dash phone gets has a little attitude and if I hit a big huge bump on the road it'll turn off and Amanda wanted to say something as well I forgot to mention a very important event for educators everywhere and due to my illness and Amanda's illness we missed it all right Amanda what was yesterday uh, loud voice please on Monday it was just Day. I believe yesterday, not Monday, yesterday was Teachers Appreciation Day. So all throughout the United States, for those people who are in the public sector and private sector, that we take a moment of our time to appreciate our teachers. Previously at our school, that sometimes administration would buy something some donuts or bagels or something and put them out in the teacher's lounge and sometimes parents would recognize this as two and they would send us a little note or appreciation a card or just a note saying thank you for all that you do and this it's really appreciated it's, uh, appreciated to let us know that you know we are important and that the sacrifices that we do for the, their kids and that we care about kids. A lot of people get into education because they truly care about their children, their children and the future of our society. And they wanna make a difference in people's lives and to help and to nurture their, their child. And I feel the same way. I feel very strongly about that. It feels good to do what I do to help students find the resources that they need to find. Or, I can say, if we don't have those resources, to find another source that does have the information that they want. And that goes for staff, the students, parents, anybody. It feels good to help, to be a helping person and to have that loving and helping nature. Okay, well, that was little Amanda's add-on she wanted to mention. Teachers Appreciation Day, and there we are. And I'll, I'll tack it to the other video, Amanda. Yeah. Say bye-bye.